Stakeout, a new movie from Touchstone Pictures, opened in New York yesterday. Our next guest on Live at Five are the director of the film, John Badham, and the leading lady, Madeline Stowe. Stakeout is the story of two cops who are assigned to stake out a good-looking woman whose ex-boyfriend is a dangerous escaped convict. And of course, during the long, weary hours of watching her, one of the cops, played by Richard Dreyfus, falls in love with her. So before we talk to John and Madeline, here's a clip from Stakeout. Yeah, so what are you doing? I heard you wanted to talk to me. Uh, a couple of cops sitting on a stakeout in Fourth Precinct just got caught on a procedure. Seems they got over anxious to blew their cover. I don't want this to happen here. You pass it on. No funny stuff. No funny stuff. Okay, right. you got it. Okay, right. you got it. You got it. No funny stuff. Oh, yes, Hi. I'm okay. I'm okay. What are you doing here? Well, I just had uh, a, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, what are you doing here? I heard you uh, were supposed to be at work. Well, I was, but they let me off early so I could see my brother. You know, they only have certain hours here. And... Hey, fish man. One day we dance again, okay? Are you in some kind of trouble? No, no, no. He's just a funny friend. Hey, Chris. Listen, this is a really bad time to talk to me. Can I, can I call you up to uh, give you a call? I gotta make a couple of calls, and after I make those calls, I'll we'll probably, you know, make, call you when I'm finished. We think he's smitten. Welcome to Live at Five, John and Madeline. How do you keep this kind of action comedy movie from uh, being just another buddy team movie that depends mostly on the chemistry between the, the, uh, the buddies? The thing that I liked about this was that it had so much more going for it than that. It had a, a wonderful romance in it that was done in a very funny way, too. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of comedy and this romance, plus a tremendous amount of action that sort of begins and ends the movie. And so it's always changing tone from one thing to another, one kind of movie to another. So if you're a little bit bored with one thing, hang on, it'll change in a second. So the quiet moments are interesting, <laughs> is mm -hmm. what you're saying to me. Madeline, yesterday uh, Pia reviewed this movie, mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that struck her, she said there was an immediate attraction between uh, Maria, your character, who's a beautiful woman who has everything in the world to offer, and Chris, who is apparently, uh, Richard Drivers, uh, a telephone repairman, kind of schlumpy, and, and she wonders what you saw character Maria and Chris. Well, I never actually thought of him as being particularly <laughs> schlong. <laughs> okay, all right. Richard, Richard has a great deal of charm, you know, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people are seeing a new side to him in this picture that a lot of people haven't seen before. Well, I, this, I'm, I mean the characters. I don't, mean, character? I don't mean you, Madeline, as I, opposed to Richard. I mean Maria versus Chris, the characters well, in the movie. I, the, she's used to going out with men who pretty much are, are pushing her around and telling her what to do, and kind of notorious characters. And what she s makes a statement about is that she wants to meet someone who's nice and be with someone who's nice. And he's done a lot of, well, you would find out, a lot of courteous things in the picture. How do we round out Aidan Quinn's role, who is uh, the, the escaped convict uh, in this movie? Do we make him, uh, 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 do we make him as though we, we, we believe that Maria, the character, could have been in love with this uh, creep at there's, some point? There's a great uh, excitement to this guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has one of the all-time wonderful senses of survival. He gets through everything and there's a dangerous excitement to him. And she's kind of had it with this sort of guy, but she's torn between him and the Dreyfus character, who is able to approach things much more cool, much more calmly, and with a great sense of humor. Well, the reviews have been pretty darn good. There is one thing that you might see as a negative note, I don't know. Um, uh, the, one of the reviewers said that the beginning of the movie is rather abrupt and bloody. Uh, and, and therefore, the tone of the movie is set that, that, that the violence doesn't necessarily mix with the comedy. This was the, one of the reviews. Well, it may not mix for them. It mixes great for most of the audiences mm -hmm. who are able to swing back and forth between this. But certainly the strength of the opening has to do with taking Aidan Quinn and his whole side of the movie very seriously. When he shows up, you want to be, you know, frightened of this yeah. guy. You want to run away is what you want to do. He's really scary. And there are three distinct tones in the picture. Um, there's the comedy and the romantic part of it and that action that John mm -hmm. I actually may managed to get cohesive. John Badham is a director whose, whose box office success has been compared to Spielberg, Stallone, uh, George Lucas. Is there a spe <laughs> No, really, the box office... Uh, uh, I mean, was, <laughs> all right, well, let's just, uh, let's just list some of the movies. Saturday Night Fever, War Games, Whose Life Is It Anyway, Blue Thunder, on and on and on. Is there a special pressure going into a film where you know the director is so successful? 
I think, well, I think it's one of the things you try not to think about. It's also one of the things that makes you want to work with someone like that. Um, aside from his, his talent, John is an amazingly tender person, which I don't know how many people know about. Did you, did you discover that during the film or uh, while you've been hyping the movie here, that you've during discovered that John is a tender actually, person? I, always, I actually always suspected it about him. <laughs> first time we met. That, that's sort of a, 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 a tricky situation here in that uh, you work so closely together for months and now you're asked to, to, to travel together and, and, and to promote this movie. I mean, does it get on your nerves after you get on each other's nerves after a while? Oh, what do you think? <laughs> Actually, uh, she came here the night before last. So, uh, a lot of viewers going to believe that, yeah. John. Well, I don't care if they do or not. <laughs> you know, but, the uh, legends about direct, so it, so the director it hasn't, been, uh, hasn't been too bad. And, and, and my wife stands out and in the hallway, and her husband's out in the hallway, you know, like this, with a gun on the hip. And, and, and watches the deal. Uh, well, you know, the reviews have been very good, and uh, we, we thank you both for coming by. The name of the movie is Stakeout, and they say it's a lot of fun, and it's interesting, too. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Good to okay, you nice too, to John. meet you. Okay. Were you uh, trying to stir up a little trouble over there, sir? I, I try to, always, <laughs> always. <laughs> Live at 5 continues today. Al Roker will be along with the weather. And up next, Katie reviews our...